If you guys are looking to buy some cheap and reliable MT, head on over to AOLA.com and use code YBC at checkout for a discount. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's YBC and I am back bringing another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys about cards that you guys should sell as soon as possible before they do lose value in NBA 2K20, my team. Real quick, before we hop into the video and everything, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys go on ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. Right now, we're on this road and grind to 90,000 subscribers. So I'm about to achieve that goal today if you guys are new. So I'm sure a lot of you guys know, but in case you guys don't know already, I do post these types of videos once a month, usually at the beginning of the month, where I do tell you guys my opinion, cards you guys should sell before they lose value later on in the month, and also cards you guys should buy to invest in before the price goes up later in the month in which the buying cards I'm gonna be telling you guys about about the best investments to invest into that video will either be coming out this weekend probably on Saturday or Sunday these videos right here are kind of like my market talk videos on a channel and I do try my absolute best to pretty much just put everything about my team on my channel pack openings gameplays top 10 budget cards best cards to grind for and so on and so forth upcoming content I just try to pretty Put pretty much everything on my channel as best I can and make sure I make sure everything that goes on in my team. As when it comes to market talk, like I said, market crash and market inflations. This video right here, these two videos are the videos of that. So for those of you guys who, who have subscribed to my channel, looking for me to talk about future market crashes or future market inflations, I don't do that because those are really too, those are too hard to predict and usually we don't really, really get any. In which when it comes to cards going up and down in value, those are a lot easier to predict and get an understanding for. In which that's what I'm be doing in this video right here, telling you guys about cards that are going to be going down in value later on in this month. Based off of that, I know whenever I do make these videos, I always start off these videos with telling you guys how the market is right now. And right now, the market is stable. It's not really so much of a buyer's market, and it's not really so much of a seller's market. It is in the middle of the both. It is a pretty stable market right now. So for those of you guys who are looking to buy cards, right now would be a decent time to buy cards. And for those of you guys who are looking to sell cards, right now would be a decent time to sell cards as well. It, it, the market right now is not one-sided at all. So based off that note, guys, now time we hop into the list of this video of cards you guys should sell. And starting off with the first batch of cards, I think that buzzer beater cards should be sold in your collection as soon as possible. When it comes to super packs, the buzzer beater super packs are the only super packs that we have not gotten in 2K. We have seen every super pack of every other promo in the game. We've, flat, we've seen Flash as those right now are currently in the market, actually. At the time I'm recording this video, we have seen Prime, those came out last week. We have seen Spotlight Sim Super Packs as well. We have not seen Fan Favorite yet, but those there really aren't that many cards to give us Fan Favorite. We're just really missing a Fan Favorite and a Buzzer Beater Super Packs, in which we're going to be doing do for those very, very soon. Earn that, guys. We've seen Spotlight. We have seen promos being brought back into the market. We have seen Legacy, guys. When it comes to Buzzer Beaters, we most definitely are due for those, in which when those do drop, these cards right here in a collection are going to be going down a ton in value. And also, alongside that reason, I personally feel like that when it comes to buzzer beaters, they are very overpriced and very overrated cards. Even though these buzzer beater content right here is pretty solid content, a lot of these cards right here really aren't the greatest Galaxy Opals. And a lot of these cards right here do go for more than what they should be going for on the auction block. Like, for example, when we take a look right here at this Galaxy Opal to Kevin Matumbo, as you can see right here, this man Matumbo is going for 230,000 MT. He's probably going to be ending for like, I want to say 350,000 MT. We take a look at this card right here. He has off rip a 45 three ball. Why a center who can't shoot when guys have limitless range like Shaq in the game is going for 230,000 MT with minute, with hour and 50 minutes left to go is beyond me. In which if you have Dikembe, I recommend you guys sell him as soon as possible. But a couple another card right here, guys, like Patrick Ewing, he has one of the slowest jump shots in the entire game for a center. And he does not have range center at all. In which this card right here is going for 235,000 MT. Why spend over 200k on Patrick Ewing and also on Dikembe Mutombo, which these two cards right here have terrible releases and Dikembe Mutombo has a slow three-pointer, when you can get a baby Shaq in Pink Diamond Eddie Curry right here, in which Pink Diamond Eddie Curry is going for 100,000 MT right here with four minutes left to go on the auction. He probably will end for probably like around 120,000 MT, but... Eddie Curry is going for half the price that Dikembe and also Ewing is going for, in which Eddie Curry, in my opinion, is a way better card than Ewing and also than Dikembe Mutombo. Now that right there, guys, is two prime examples of some very overrated and overpriced cards. Now, obviously, there are some good buzzer beater cards in here, like, for example, Pete Maravich. This card right here is a solid card to pick up. Brandon Roy right here, he's just as good as the Opal. This card right here is a good card to pick up. My boy Money Mitch Richmond right here. 
is going for a buy on right here of 95,000 MT. He's a solid card to pick up. There are a few solid cards to pick up, but at the end of the day, guys, right here, the Buzzer Beater content is very, very overpriced, and the majority of them are very, very overvalued cards in my team, in my opinion. Now, moving along right here to the second type of cards you guys should sell, and those are the expensive Amethyst and above coaches i know what you guys are probably saying why bc why on earth should i sell coaches what on earth would it have to do with actual cards and players in the collection and that is because guys coaches have went up in value due to the brand new player of the month coming out right here as you guys can see right here gallus global lucas is a brand new player of the month and right now it is the beginning of the month at, at the time i'm recording this video and likely will be uploading it the same day it is june 3rd in which jared lucas just came out two days ago a lot of players who play my team want to get this Jerry Lucas card as soon as it comes out, and a lot of players just simply want to get the new player's must card as soon as it comes out. They want to be one of the first to get him, and I want to as well, guys. But while doing that, my team players do spend a good amount of MT on coaches. So for those of you guys who aren't, don't plan on going 12-0 right now and have your coaches in your collection, I recommend you guys do sell them on your auction block. I'm not going to go right here. I'm going to sell him. And I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep Nick Nurse right here because I'm trying to go 12 and 0. But Mike Malone is the actual coach that I did have. And I'm gonna throw him up on the auction block and sell him because I don't need him and he is going to be going for some MT. And even, even if I want to buy my Mike Malone back, his price will be going for lower later on in the month when more people go 12 and 0 and not a lot of people are gonna be buying coaches on auction block. With that being said, when it comes to my team sweats, as I mentioned in Unlimited, they buy their coaches at the beginning of the month and then they sell their coaches from their team as soon as they go 12 and 0 and that's what causes the coaches to go lower is that not a lot of people have demand for the coaches right now the demand for coaches is high because like i said the new player of the month came out people want to get that player of the month and get the coach in which when you proceed later on in the month people sell their coaches back and more people have the cards the demand for coaches goes lower which brings their value on the coaches lower as we approach later on in june moving along in this video to the next batch of cards you guys should sell and those are sweaty budget cards. These types of cards you guys should sell kind of piggyback off of the coaches. When it comes to the sweaty budget cards, guys, a lot of people, because in the beginning of the month, are forming their team to go 12 and 0. Now, there are a lot of budget balls out there, but there also are a lot of sweaty budget balls out there. What I mean by that is that people are getting like the cheesiest and the sweatiest 12 and 0 budget cards possible, which, when it comes to those cards, are going a little bit up. And value on the auction block. So for those of you guys who are right now not trying to go 12 and 0, you guys have some sweaty budget cards. I recommend you guys do sell them. And some of those cards include this Amethyst Mobama card right here, as well as this Diamond Nicholas Batum. This card right here is a card you guys should sell as well. Also, when it comes to this Yoshi, he's a card. He's a cheesy budget card as well. And also, when it comes to the fan favorite, Isaac Banga, this man right here also did go up in value as well before the 12-0 record reset. He was going for under 10,000 MT. And now it looks like there's not one up for 10,000 MT or below. Same thing with this Boban card right here, guys. The Boban card as well is a 7-foot 3, I believe, or 7-foot, yeah, 7-foot 3 right here, 290-pound Phenom and Monster. And he also did go up in value as well because he also is a cheesy budget card. So those are some of the budget cards you guys just sell on back on the auction block if you guys do have them in your collection. If you, guys aren't, if you guys don't plan on going 12 and 0 right now. Moving along now on to the fourth batch of cards you guys should sell. And those are old sets that have token reward as the collection reward. Now let me make this right here as clear as possible, guys. When it comes to the sets and the old sets, I'm talking this Paul and Jason Kidd series number two collection all the way to the beginning of my team when it comes to the collection of tokens that you guys should sell. Flash 2 right here is a collection that got released after Spotlight Jason Kidd. And Flash 2 all the way to the most recent My Team collection for tokens. I don't think it's going to be having a change in value. And I don't think those cards are going to be going, going low in value. So past Flash 2 is a collection that I am not talking about in this video. I'm talking about Jason Kidd all the way to the beginning. Those sets. With that being said, guys, the reason why these collections right here, Jason Kidd, all the way to the beginning, did go up in value is due to the token market finally being updated. We got four new Opals, Morant, Bob Pettit, as well as Damar and Amari Sundermeyer, who I redeemed. Got four pink diamonds and four diamond cards as well. 2K did update the token market last week, in which did bring an inflation on to Jason Kidd sets all the way to the beginning. And the reason why it did that, guys is because of the fact that most of the collections right here, most of these sets from Jason Kidd all the way to the beginning are rare collections and the cards to get are rare. 
Like for example, when we go to the moments of the week collection right here for token, uh, let me make a let me make an em emphasis on that. These collection right here that I'm talking about right here are token collection reward card reward. We take a look at right here some of the collection for tokens and moments of the week. We take a look right here this Diamond Kyle Lowry. Diamond Kyle Lowry right here is going going for, going for 70,000 MT. This card right here only has nine Hall of Fame badges and is not worth that at all. So take a look right here at this Pink Diamond Devin Booker card, for example. There are no Pink Diamond Devin Bookers up on the auction block. This card right here is likely going for over 100,000 MT+. Plus. We can take a look at the collection right next to it. Moments of the week number 800 tokens right here. We can take a look at Diamond Kemba. Boom, 20K-ish. Diamond Jaren Jackson Jr. Oh my goodness. Oh man. If you have Jaren Jackson Jr. in your collection, you have not sold him yet. You are a rich man because right now he is going for 100,000 MT. And that right there, guys, is just some of the moments of the week players. Obviously, there are more in which I'm not going to be talking about because I don't want to make this video too crazy long. But same exact thing right here goes with the Legacy Collection. Bill Walton right here, for example, going for over, like going over for 100 KMT. 95,000 MT right here on a current bid with 18 minutes left. City Monkey right here, this card is 70,000 MT. Take a look right here at Bernard King. Bernard King is not going for that much, but still, guys. 20,000 MT for a card with only four all of fame badges is not worth it and a card is is a card that you guys should sell immediately. Now this next set of cards is going to be the last card I do talk about in this video and lastly when it comes to it the cards you guys should sell as soon as possible the last batch of them are super old and outdated collections and sets. This right here kind of piggybacks off of the moments of the week right here. A lot of these cards right here are ran for tokens, but when it comes to the old collections, for some odd reason, guys, there are just simply a lot of cards right now from old collections that are going for a lot of MT. Like, for example, the first ever collection right here, the Spotlight Dwayne Wade, Mellow's going for 18,000 MT, and this Mellow. Take a look at right here, as is Udonis Haslam. Udonis Haslam right here is a super rare card, and he's going for... <laughs> Around the price range of 30 ish thousand MT. Next up, right here, we can take a look at the multi dimensional collection. John Avilcek is going for around 12,000 MT, in which I do not think that he is worth 12,000 MT at all. Same thing with the Legacy collection right here, the Legacy series number one, I guess you could say. These are like kind of the prime VIP of Legacy. These cards right here also do have some values in their name, in which they're not worth it at all. Blue Hudson, 50k MT, three Hall of Fame badges, not worth it at all. You can get yourself right here a free. And I'm talking, guys, a free Diamond Cam Reddish, who is essentially like a Diamond Paul George, as he's standing at six foot eight, coming with 19 Hall of Fame badges, 27 gold badges, for free. Instead of spending 15 KMT for this very, very outdated Lou Hudson. Same thing right here, guys. It goes for mo the majority of the other co players right here in this collection, and just simply the more outdated, super outdated, and super old my team collections so right there now guys pretty much can wrap it up and do it for this video in this video i did tell you guys my opinion the cards that will be going down in value in june on the auction block to end off this video right here i will be showing you guys a screenshot from my phone of the players and the collections of players and sets who i did mention off in this video in case you guys didn't miss out on anybody buddy i did a mod five in which i will show you guys right here and with that being said if you guys have any questions upon the market or anything feel free to let me know down below in the comment section your questions at any time and i will try my absolute best to help you guys out and respond read and respond to every single one of them so this video right here is pretty much now complete thank you guys for watching thank you guys for all the love and support make sure you guys do go on ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button if you guys are new and i'll catch all of you guys in the next one and as usual as always it's ybc and i'm out peace